Okay. Change it. Okay. Yes. Okay. We're gonna take an AK and I'm 16. Woo, this game sure is a blast. <laughs> oh oh God, god, what happened here? Dude! <laughs> oh, that was a knocky key. Dude! Oh my god, your your, your body parts are everywhere. Whoever this is, you look like a total mess. <laughs> His body parts are everywhere. Honestly, this game was a bit of a shocker to me. I had originally thought that Insurgency Sandstorm was just going to be a copy and paste of the original, and I got that by just looking at the trailers. Well, then again, it was also reinforced by a couple of my friends, saying that it kind of looked a, the same as the original, so why go out and buy, you know, the same game again? But this is a perfect case of judging a book by its cover, because I was sorely mistaken. Those of you that don't know what the Honest Opinion series is, it's basically me playing betas or alphas and telling you what I thought. Bear in mind that these games aren't finished, so don't take this as the final product, because things are bound to change. This game certainly isn't in the realm of Squad, Postscriptum, or Hell Let Loose. Nonetheless, I thoroughly enjoyed it. The new engine definitely brings the visuals up to date, and the sound. <laughs> Rocket. Nice one, Tom. Taking more around. Guys, what's going on out there? <laughs> just jarring. This, along with new features and customization, is just a big step up from the original. But the beta itself wasn't perfect. People around me were saying things like, Why does this game crash for me every time I get into a game? Why is that an M16 stuck across my screen? So it's probably just some performance issues and netcode issues, which were somewhat persistent in the beta. There would also be some issues where I would play and the game's ping would spike up to over a thousand. Like, what happened? I'm in a US server. Like, how does that happen? This game didn't seem to feature team play all that well because you can literally win a match without teammates if you're just that good. The most that I would see when it comes to the team play aspect is just the commander sticking with his radio man, and that was about it. It most definitely is possible to have a cooperative team, but you need close friends that are willing to go above and beyond for that set gameplay. Aside from that, there were a lot of positives. There are a lot more weapons in this one, along with new attachments. After every match, you get 100 tokens because there is a new system in place that allows the players to unlock accessories as they go. I've expressed in the past that I love customization, and this game certainly has it. So every time that you complete a match, you gain tokens to unlock new things for your character. Hopefully this feature gets a little more fleshed out as the game gets near completion. You and enemies can kick down doors and drive vehicles with Dishka. Deaths can be brutal. And with the new dismemberment system, whew, it only reinforces it. Commanders can call in helicopters, drone strikes, artillery. This game can be mayhem if you're not careful. When I first started up the Insurgency Sandstorm stream, I only wanted to do it for an hour, but I found myself streaming for more than three plus hours because I was having fun. And in my honest opinion, this game was definitely worth my time. So I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I will catch you in the- WAIT! The generous people over at New World Interactive have generously given me two keys to give away! So here's what you the viewer have to do if you want it. Answer these questions in a comment. How did you find my channel? What new indie game are you most excited for? What's 5 times 5 plus 5 minus 5 times 5 divided by 5 minus 2? Answer these questions and your name will be entered into a raffle. I will contact you personally in any way that I can if you are the winner. This raffle will end on the 20th, and I will contact the winner on the 21st. Thanks everybody for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye.